the reason I collect items is because in all cases there are things that interest me almost to a magpie level to be perfectly honest I'll just see something and it may be the most useless little thing like my plastic toys and what have you hundreds and hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, of. And hundreds of. but on the other hand there are things that are also like the I suppose the cheap down versions of religious items African items got to a point of being more choosy now the curiosity cabinet so it's a firm collecting sphere. skulls and taxidermied animals at the minute it's not exactly um, an acceptable thing for people to have in their houses anymore so people are getting rid of they're the thing that i want the most at the moment i like to have everything in little drawers that come out so you can see everything to take every single individual coin that i've picked up because i liked an engraving and on have it. each one in a little drawer a lot of it's just like treasure and you really do have to root to find what you want in it although every single thing's special which is you can understand where my nightmare begins you know, i like searching for something and then i just find a box of stuff and i'm like oh i haven't seen that for a little while <laughs> no there ain't there's that you know, little notes left for me, human connect postcards or anything. I've never chucked anything away like that. And the only thing like that that I do chuck away is Christmas cards. Utter waste of time. It's not a false sentimentality, but you know, I'd rather see that person in the flesh and just go, Happy Christmas. I can't bear to have newspapers all around the house. It does my head in. It's like useless. It is really, really useless. You've read it. And then there was another one tomorrow. When something gets to at the end of its life, it, it, it gets binned. And a lot of these things that are being chucked out are people's lives. When people die, a lot of the things I found was like I was collecting lives, photographs, matchbox cover collections, really random stuff, bizarre faces and little trinkets, shiny things and, and rings and nuts and bolts. Well, things of curiosity, really. You know, these are things that really don't bear any value to the people that are chucking them out, but they've really borne an importance to somebody. Otherwise, have they, why have they collected them? And so I was taking all these things into me. So I suppose I'm almost absorbing other people's lives into my collection and sort of almost keeping them alive. You know how so like they say nobody dies until they're forgotten. I'm still fascinated with the story that was connected to the thing before I found it and finding certain things and finding where they were made and what they were for, what sort of person would have bought them. Some people that collect place a bigger importance the way that you display as opposed to the thing that you're displaying. So if you display something as if it's the most precious thing in the world but really it's just a boiled egg. It's a very important boiled egg. Or whether it's just a, a Luke Skywalker with a missing arm. <laughs> but I still want to put them in their spaces to do each one of them justice. Broken is just used, isn't it? And it has more memory if it's been if it's been used. They help me unclutter my mind. I can pick up something and I can instantly go, that's from then that's that person and I can have a feeling that's associated with that. In one way or another, everybody does it. Everybody has shopping therapy, everybody. And this is mine.